Okay, that took a lot longer than I really thought it would have taken. <laughs> wow. Uh, we have a hole that goes all the way down. I didn't need to come down this far. I didn't need to. We finished the titanium about here, but I decided, you know what, we're going to go down even further because we can. And uh, yeah, we have a hole going all the way up to, uh, to, to, to space. And uh, that was three. Three drills goes to this point here. Exactly to the roof. Three of these. Oof. Nice. And in here somewhere is power cable, uh, which I need to remove. There it is, hidden in the wall. But off. There you go. Okay. So. So. What do we want to do with this big hole? Well, uh, probably fill this bit, at least anyway. Um, and maybe I might, I might leave just this hole here and run, run the two pipes down with a hole and then maybe just put a roof and it all, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's, let's just, let's just basically get it working. That's what I want to do. So let's go over to here. Let's go over to our pipes and let's run our pipes up. And there's a few things that I also want to test and try. Um, so we're going to have some interesting uh, experimentation going on. Um, so now when I first tested this we uh, got to the point where uh, something went wrong with this pipe here and uh, um, it stopped um, it's not flowing so we need to connect this pipe up and get that flowing and connect this pipe up and get it flowing down there and we noticed that if you put them next to a extractor one of these is set to extract mode they just all go into it we're going to test some things and we're going to test some things uh, I think up here first because it's going to be easier to test up here than it is down the bottom. Let's uh, floor this area here so I can build stuff. Oh, don't. Okay. We are going to get ourselves one of these and uh, put it there and put it there. We're going to reverse this one and we're going to reverse this one so it would be inputs and inputs. And if we plug in this pipe to these two, it's going to go to the first one. Only go to the first one. However, however, if we, uh, and I'm actually going to do this another way around, I'm going to, I'm going to do it this, this way around. We put a pusher in here and we filter this pusher with, let's say, iron. I think that's iron. Yeah, iron's in the first one there. Uh, so we're going to get uh, all the iron and then a bit of copper. Let's filter this one to copper instead. No copper, like that. And then we're going to plug them in like this. And then nothing's going to happen because I feel like this is broken here. I feel like this here is broken. This uh, okay, let's try again. Perhaps you're going to pull out and do some interesting. Uh, can we maybe do push up? Which way to be that direction? Same thing. That seems to be working. And look at this. Look at this. Even though this one is on the list, the filter is preventing the copper from coming in here. The uh, the uh, It's only letting copper go in there, and this one is letting iron go in here, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, because that is exactly what I want. I don't know why this is broken. I feel like maybe you need to put filters on each T-junction to force it to travel certain directions. Um, so that's a thing we need to do. That's easy enough to fix though, because we can do this. We can remove all these like this. Boom. We can build a pusher, not a fil push, uh, filter pusher, Boom, like that. And then we just grab this and we do this. That should get everything working and there shouldn't be any problems. We're going to stop because of I think the pipe lets the on flow first so the end will empty first that seems to be how these pipe do things I see copper's going in here and everything else is going in here so beautiful beautiful okay stop because that will let me do something that I wanted to do and what I wanted to do was, instead of uh, instead of bringing down the pipes and then doing this here and dropping them out onto belts, I would like to run the pipes 
straight along and uh, oh, I'm uh, doing, doing complex here so uh, I would like to run the pipes along and into the smelters kind of directly but only for the ores so what I'd like to basically do here and I don't really know well it's, it's gonna work I know it's gonna work but um, I don't really know if it's gonna do the thing that I want it to do properly uh, is I want to go into device I want to go into advanced smelters I want to grab an advanced smelter and I want to see the advanced smelter has a four gap in between it okay okay so we'll have to move one back even further so we'll do this destroy this and then we'll destroy all this Zoop. goodbye and we're going to put in uh, one there and edit that and filter it round and go with six and we're going to go zoom back up to here okay and then you're going to plug into one of these you're going to plug into i can't put them both into the same pipe uh because the, the, the throughput isn't fast enough um, and this isn't fast enough yet maybe in the future we can get the uh, faster pipe so we're going to go with two pipes um and uh we're going to basically plug this one i think directly into there this one is going to go oh 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 mistakes mistakes makes mistakes stop stop come this way come come this way please come this way. thank you Then what we're going to do is uh, that coal is going to end up in here. Well, that's okay. That's fine. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to go and have another pipe, which will That's weird. Why are you doing that? Oh, because this is this is this is facing the way around. <laughs> uh, oof, there you go. <laughs> oh, although did did it go in there? Did it go in there? I don't think it did. But um, uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, rotate. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Apparently, I can't rotate them. Interesting. There we go. Okay. How bizarre. Okay. Uh, and then we can. Uh, right, so we can output whatever the goods are into into this here. That'd be fine. And then we want to have pipes that come off and go to storage for other things. So stuff that we don't want in here. So we want all of that. Don't we? we want iron, copper, gold, and aluminium. So let's build ourselves some pushers. Go boom, boom. Edit this one. And go iron, gold, copper, and aluminium but titanium aluminium the first four one two three and four and then we can build a uh, pipe off the side this and it could go off to a storage and this could do the same and then we don't have to worry about the the belt so the, anything that comes down here that's like copper uh, or um carbon or something will go off to its own thing on the side and I believe I can do this here and then just use a pusher to force everything to go that way so nothing will come down this pipe and turn this way it will only go that way okay and then we put in uh, a storage down here 
Um, I'm just going to put in a tiny storage for the moment. It's uh, easy to do it that way. Um, oop, like that. Uh, oh, that won't, that won't work. That won't work. We still need to uh, do another one of these. I've completely forgot you don't interact with uh, pipes that way. Oh, there we go. Storage. Uh, this is all for testing purposes. It's all for testing purposes, like that. Okay. And there. Okay. And let's go and put a lug it in. I want to fill up that side area there at the very least. So let us go and plug it in by doing... There's a plug there and the plug there. And also I need to come along with some uh, logistic blocks. And, uh, put in a couple of pushers in places. So we want to have a pusher there. We want to have a pusher there. And we don't need one there because this is only one direction. So yeah, maybe it's a little bit overzealous putting all these pushes in, but I'd rather be over the top than under. Okay. And here we go, here we go. So, the stuff's going to come down. Zoop. Zoop, zoop. And it's not doing the thing I wanted it to do. It's not doing the thing I wanted it to do. The carbon, even though we have a filter here to say go this way, uh, the carbon is still going into the box, so... Okay, okay, let's let's stop this for a moment. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Not sure why the pipes are broken. Not sure why that's not working here. So they're not seeming to always want to interact with the uh, thing. Now interestingly, carbon did come this way. But um Yeah, I don't know why the carbon's coming this way. That's that's not making much sense. You are not filtered to carbon. You should not be pushing carbon this way. You should be letting carbon go that way instead. Yeah. yeah you're letting carbon come this way, which is not right. So they're not exactly using things. This one appears to be. Um, interestingly. Delete those. Delete that. Pick up the carbon from those two. Pick up the carbon there. And then we will go with a filter. Throw a push up there. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Then we will connect here. We'll do there. Note the carbon still comes this direction. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Why is that? Why is the carbon only coming this direction? Hmm? So, it, yeah, it appears that pushes don't work. Uh, okay, let's try something else. Let's try something else. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have another idea. I would assume this side wouldn't work either with the way it is, so let's get rid of those. What we'll do is I'll also get rid of these so I can test things. Boom. So we're going to go that, that, and then we're going to go with uh, logistic block, logic block, sorry. Uh, oh. This way, this way. Filter one, two, three, four. Filter two, three, four. Plug that one in, plug that one in. Nope. Nope. We are still letting carbon come this way. Okay, I wonder if it was because it was coming down and it had to do it on the flat. So, yeah, they apparently ignore pushers. Maybe they don't ignore filters. I don't know. Well, they don't ignore pushers because they know. Maybe they ignore the filter on the pusher. 
Maybe that's what it is. They're ignoring the filter on the pusher. Um, it's coming to, choosing to come this way. So if we put a pusher in here. Ah, okay, yeah, they might be ignoring the filters on the pushers. Okay, okay, okay. Test number three. I have no idea how long this episode has gone on for now, um, but I'm sure not many people uh, will complain for a longer episode when I've been doing quite short ones recently. Um, and uh, uh, if we. Filter and filter. And block and block. I feel like I need a bit of redundancy here. Um, okay, and then we're going to filter one, two, three, and four. So you're allowed this way, and we're going to block one, two, three, and four. So you're not allowed that way. And because I don't know which direction the pipe's going to go, unless I put a filter block in there, a pusher block in there to push this way. That should work, shouldn't it? Put a pusher in there to push into here, and it will force everything to come this way, and if it doesn't fit this filter, it will do that. Um, I feel like that should work. Did a pusher block there and there. Um, and then we also did one there to prevent this going this way. Then we connect up these, bomb and bomb. And completely ignore the fact there is a pusher block here and go into there blocking the way. That's interesting. Okay, they are definitely, um, so they're reading the filter block. They're reading the filter block, but they're not reading the pusher. Here. So they're, re they're reading that they can they can filter this way, but they're not reading the push block there. So so it's not gonna work like that. We're gonna have to have this come out the opposite direction. Um, but it's not flowing now because the copper is allowed to come this way. So it won't go. And then whenever the next thing comes along that's not copper, we'll come down this pipe here. So this works. A pusher block will force it to go a direction. However, it doesn't appear as if a pusher block can prevent it from re-entering in a direction. So, okay. Okay. Learning things. We are learning things. And then we would need to... Um, out and over or something like that if I want to get it to this side here it doesn't have to be to this side here I kind of wish I could just run it through the pipes but apparently I can't um, also I don't think you can uh, I think pipes connect through floors so we can't do this and then and then build a pipe on top because no, it connects through. Yeah. Okay. So floors don't block it either. So there's no way to run two pipes parallel to each other uh, without having them connect. They will always connect when you run them parallel to each other. So uh, you got to have a gap in between. It's just the way it is. Just the way it is. That's okay. That's okay. So we'd have to do something like this. So the stuff will come out, go up, go over, go round. Because for some bizarre reason this chooses to come this direction instead of the other way. And I can't put a blocker here because if I put a blocker here, it would put a stop block the path coming in the pipe. So, yeah. Yeah. Want to buy... Want to buy... Pipes... that have a single direction. Like, like here. Like, like you've got the conveyor belts. That are, you've got three different configurations. You've got this conveyor belt, you've got up, and you've got down. I would like to buy two pipes. One pipe that is just the standard one, another pipe that is a single direction i feel like the single direction pipe would be far more popular would be used 
in everything. Um, so pipes have their own sort of charm for doing things. Uh, so yeah, um, uh, that would be quite nice. Um, or or also possibly um, uh, the pipes can't go through floors. Um, or then again, people would use that a lot. So people would use the actual pipes can go through floors a lot. So I don't know. Um, Okay, so I want to do this. Uh, that. And, and it, oh, okay. Interestingly, interestingly, you are choosing to go past and go round. So they must pick a direction based on certain things. Um, but they prefer to go forward and then prefer to go this way and prefer to go that way. Of course, now this pipe is completely screwed. This whole pipe is screwed because the stuff's traveling the wrong way in the pipe. And, and oh dear, I don't know how to convince it to not travel the wrong way in the pipe. I don't know how to, to turn stuff around in pipes. So, Yep, no idea how to make things go a different direction in pipes, so. But that will work, that will work. So, so they accept pusher blocks, providing you're not going directly against the flow. Um, they seem to accept filter blocks. Filter blocks seem to work pretty well for them. Um, obviously, we can't test this one until it comes down and uh, isn't, isn't carbon, instead it's someone else. But then again, it's working here. So, so yeah. Okay. Okay. Oop. And then we have to convert this down here because uh, there isn't any... Um... Uh, there isn't any machines that have pipe inputs at the moment. So there we go. Okay, so that's going to do its thing and is going to send all the goods from upstairs down to here via pipes. So that's cool. Um, it did appear as if it was filtering the stuff up the top of the pipe. So may maybe a single filter it can figure it out on. Um, although, I mean, it worked for copper. It wasn't working for carbon. That's weird. It's weird. It seems to work in some situations, like up, up top, it definitely filtered the carbon and that, but doesn't work in other situations. So, I don't know. It's a, an interesting thing. It's an interesting thing, but um, it is going to work now. It is going to work. We can tell this to also do aluminium bars and uh, we can get that going. So we're going to have our stuff come in, be smelted and away we go, which is beautiful. Uh, we could have two smelters doing it if we wanted to just speed up the process. Um, just to split the load. Wouldn't speed well, it would speed up the process, so it would obviously give us double the amount. Instead of three and four in seven seconds, it would give us six in seven seconds. So But okay. Okay. So we've learned some things. We've learned many things. Many things about the piping network and how they work, how they do stuff. So Yeah. I just need to fill in these holes. I think I'm gonna fill in these holes around this. And uh, I will leave a gap. I will leave a gap of uh, this this for the pipes to go down. So, but I want to fill in the holes because I want to put the two uh, um, catchers back in again. Uh, not that we have to worry about that so much because the catchers are absolutely not full of stuff. Uh... Oh, that's because the uh, these are for the stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're taking priority, even over this one as well. That's weird. That's really weird. That is very, very bizarre. I'm, I don't know if this pipe is traveling the wrong direction. Let's replace it and try it again. 
feel like the end one should be taking priority. This, this one should be taking priority. Surely stuff in the pipe gets priority over stuff outside. Nope. That's strange. Then why doesn't this one output? Inconsistencies. This one's output in. This one is not. This one's not. But over there, the middle one is. Very inconsistent. And I think that might just be to do with up, down, left, right. Um, uh, it might it might look at this and be like, okay, so the priority is up, is, is like that way, priority. Then we look at this way, then we look at that way, then we look this way, which is why this works, that works. And why when we go down here, um, it works on this pipe because we're heading right, but doesn't work on this pipe because we're heading left. So I guess that's how they do it. It's in a, a round robin. That's what makes sense. That's how I do it, so make perfect sense talking like i know what i'm doing anyway we'll leave this one here we shall come back next time thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one and i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun